Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Boss It Maras for your daily coverage of all the latest news updates and transfers roundup related to FC Barcelona. In this video, we have a look at the ongoing saga about the next Barca manager as so far it's only Xavi's name that seems to be dominating everywhere. Meanwhile, we have reports of some major changes coming up in the squad as the management seems to be fed up with some recurring issues. Looking at other things, Luke De Jong's frustrating performances may finally be put to an end as the club looks for a way out along with many more such updates. So make sure to watch this video till the very end without skipping over any part. First up today, it looks like Xavi's arrival is imminent as top tier journalist Fabrizio Romano reports that Barcelona are already preparing the paperwork and contracts to appoint Xavi Hernandez as the new manager once the deal termination process with Al Sadd will be completed. After the manager issue is resolved, the board will be focused on Dembele, Gavi and Araujo's new contracts. Yet another reliable journalist Eduardo Polo reports that Xavi will be Barcelona's next coach. The agreement is well advanced and may be announced soon. But first, there are details to be polished such as his departure from Al Saad which is already being negotiated on the specific staff with whom he will arrive in Barcelona. His contract has a termination clause of 1 million euros. Speaking about Xavi's support staff, we already have a name on the table. As journalist Gerard Romero reports that Ricard Pruna, the former head of doctors at Barcelona, could come back with the arrival of Xavi. Meanwhile, another top tier journalist Javi Miguel reports that there are still some fringes to be decided in the termination of Xavi's contract with Al Saad such as the day of separation. The full agreement is expected to be reached between today and tomorrow. News outlet AR Sports reports that both Rafa Juste and Matteo Alemani have travelled to Doha to reach an agreement with Xavi and his club. Top tier journalist Eduardo Polo further reports that Al Saad's management has given Xavi a green light to leave for Barca but they are asking him to stay for the league decider until the 3rd of November against Al Duhayel, the greatest rival before a league break of a month and a half. But the decisive Champions League clash between Barcelona and Dynamo Kiev is on Tuesday, the 2nd of November. The Qatari club is not asking for money, but they are hoping that Barcelona will make a certain gesture. Right now, the reports suggest that Xavi is speaking directly with the owners of Al Saad to unravel the situation and travel to Barcelona as soon as possible. The match against Al Ahli on the 30th might be Xavi's farewell to the fans and his players. News outlet Catalunya Radio has already declared that Xavi will be the Barca manager during the game against Celta Vigo. However, speaking in his most recent interview, Xavi denied all these news and said that he is right now focused on his work with Al Saad and he will definitely not talk about anything. On the other hand, we have official confirmation that after Sergi Barhuan was made the interim manager of the first team, Albert Kapeash was appointed as the interim coach of the Barca B team. Reliable journalist Oriol Dominic reports that Laporta has asked the players to have patience with Sergi Barhuan and to treat him with the utmost respect. He did not mention Xavi's name at all in the dressing room. However, journalist Jose Alvarez reports that Barhuan himself said to the players in the dressing room that he won't change much because he will only be here for a short time anyway. All this indicates that Xavi's arrival does seem to be imminent. Former Spain player Santi Cazorla said in one of his most recent interviews that Xavi is ready to coach Barcelona. He has a clear idea and it is what Barcelona needs to return to its style. He likes altering the formations between 4-3-3 and a 3-4-3. However, Cazorla said that he is not sure if Alsad's management will facilitate his departure. Now the second thing that Cazorla said is what I felt most relieved about. He said that he does not think that benching ex-teammates like PK, Busquets and Short Alba would be a problem for Xavi. He has that personality. Now we all know how much of a burden these Deadwood players are to the club. So I would really be glad if Xavi indeed can force a makeover. Even legendary Barcelona right back Dani Alves said that he thinks Xavi will be at Pep Guardiola's level. Barca will be in the hands of a manager that understands the style of football. Meanwhile, Spanish news outlet Sports reports that Ronald Koeman will be compensated with 12 million euros as per his contract after his sacking. 
His friend and journalist Luis Canute said in one of his most recent interviews on Onze TV3 that Coleman never felt he was getting 100% backing from the board. After the Clasico, he just waited for it to end. Canute further said that the club has asked Ronald to reduce his compensation fee. However, he does not think that he will accept it. During his time as the Barca manager, Sport reports that Coleman had won only big game, the 2-0 victory against the Juventus. ESPN journalist Moise Jarens reports that Coleman's assistant manager, Alfred Schroeder, was at the Ciudad Esportiva today to collect his belongings and said goodbye to some of the staff. According to the report of reliable journalist Tony Juan Marti, Laporta's first priority was to remain with Coleman until the end of the season and then sign a top coach. The day Laporta told Coleman in the summer to give him 15 days to decide if he goes or stays, Coleman was practically dead in the dressing room. Of course, just as expected, many of the young Barca players took to the social media handles to express their gratitude and appreciation for Coleman. Pedri said that he is sorry that things did not turn out the way that they wanted. He will always be grateful for everything that Coleman has done and for him to give us trust from the beginning to fulfill Pedri's dream at Barca. He wished him the best both personally and professionally. Even Nico Gonzalez posted a message thanking Coleman for everything that he has done for him. He said that it will always remain in his memory that he was the coach who made his dream for debuting in the first team come true and he also wished good luck to him. Journalist Tony Juan Marte reports that the players appreciate the respect that Coleman has shown them over his time but also understand the need for change. There is another part of the staff that did not like him and wanted a new coach. Now of course, such behavior is quite understandable from the players. No matter what our fans may say, they can never deny that Ronald Koeman made a lot of dreams come true. Bringing in the likes of Pedri, Gavi, Balde or Nico into the limelight and trusting these kids with opportunities requires guts and this guy surely had it. He wasn't obviously the best manager and no doubt his decisions were questionable but he deserves that level of respect for all the youngsters that made their debuts under him. Next up, we have the comments of Barcelona president Juan Laporta that he made in today's press conference held jointly with Sergi Barhuan. He said that Sergi has temporarily left Barca B and he gets the first team. He appreciates him and his decision very much because Sergi is a club man and he has experience and of course he deserves our trust. Sergi will be on the bench until we close everything needed with a new coach. He knows the squad very well and he will work with them. At the same time, we are working on some options for the coach's position but we do not want to act in a hurry. Providing some clarification on the Komen affair, Laporta said that he fired Komen right after the game against Rayo Vallecano. However, he is grateful that Komen came in a difficult time. He is a club legend and a Barca legend that will always remain in our memory. However, the situation was unbearable. He thought that if he did not act right now, Barca would lose a chance for every title of the season. However, the relations with Komen are very good. Laporta continued saying that he believes that Komen did see the effort that they made in giving him the confidence that he needed and is quite sure that Komen understands the current situation because it's football. He said that the negotiations with Komen are going very well and Barca will always be his home. Regarding Komen's replacement, Laporta refused to comment. He said that he will keep his options to himself. However, he did comment regarding Xavi. He said that he is in a very interesting process and he is developing very well. He said that he has an excellent relationship with Xavi and a very healthy one as well and they often talk. He always said that Xavi would coach Barca sometimes because he loves football, he loves this club and that was his goal. He trusts the people next to him who know Xavi well enough and follow him in addition to other coaches. Sitting right alongside Laporta in the press conference was Sergi Barhuan. He opened his statement by thanking the club for the trust and he also sent Komen a big hug. He said that there is little room for work and it is a complex situation but he has tried to implement the criteria that he thinks are needed. Barhuan continued saying that he has only coached Barca for the last 24 hours. He cannot talk about the long term pace of the players at the moment. He said that he is a winner and so are the players and they must have the maximum demand. He will intervene more or less depending on the players themselves. 
Commenting on the atmosphere in the dressing room, he says that he sees the team very well. It's difficult to vary many things in such a short time and the style of play is non-negotiable. Commenting on the physical preparation, Barhuan said that he does not know what they did before and it's a long-term question, but today he has asked for intensity. He also confirmed that Dembele has options to be in the squad tomorrow and so does Ricky Puig. However, Ansu Fati did not train and he won't be available. Moreover, Diario AS reports that Sergi Roberto has discomfort and is a doubt for this weekend's match. Going to the next one, we have some big news. A Spanish news outlet Sport reports that Barcelona views the four sacred cows or their captains as a hindrance to the new project and assumes that they have to do a full cleanup if they want to return to success. There is a lot of controversy over the performances of Roberto, Alba, Busquets and Piquet. The board finally seems to have woken up from their trance and realized the root of the problem. Most of our seniors have poor work ethic, something that leads to lessened physical training and in turn increases the risk of injuries. This is precisely the reason why we have been seeing so many recurring injuries over the last few years. And of course, these are the senior players we're talking about. Veterans who influence the youngsters so they bring down the physical level of the others surrounding them as well. Now while players like Sergio Busquets and Alba may still be useful to the club, PK and Roberto are absolutely dead weights that only serve to slow our progress. It's high time we cut them off. Next up, news outlet Partidazo Coke reports that the postponed game between Sevilla and Barcelona could take place on the 21st of December 2021. The report further states that the Supercopa de España in Saudi Arabia will begin on the 15th or the 16th of January 2022. For the next one, we have a very interesting report. Journalist Gerard Romero states that Barcelona B player Kaish Ruiz Atil has been showing inappropriate behavior causing tense situations in the dressing room. Now this is actually quite normal considering the fact that he once used to play for PSG. Now that's all the news we could collect for you today in the news roundup. Moving on to the transfers section, we have some great news to start it off with. Spanish news publication Mundo Deportivo reports that Luke Dijon's stage as a Barca player could already come to an end in January. The club want to put him on the market. Moving on to the next transfer update, top tier journalist Tony Juan Marti said on Fabrizio Romano's Twitch channel that Xavi wants to sign a centre-back. He sees Kingsley Coman as an interesting player because he fits into a 4-3-3 formation. That's all the news we could collect for you today. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon, select all and enable all the YouTube app notifications. We have always been overly impressed by your response to our videos. So in this episode, we have decided to set a target of 550 likes. Please Kulers, help us reach our target on this episode as well. Now that's all we have for today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Vishkal Barsa, Vishkal Catalonia.